Pastor Kathy and uh, Dennis Smith. Please stand up. We're going to be working with them as we have in the past, trying to get some attorneys to work on some of these housing situations. And uh, Pastor Kathy is a miracle worker in terms of helping people save their homes, along with our old Teresa Welsh. So uh, thank you for coming, and uh, I think we're going to talk a little bit further in a few minutes. Uh, so we've got Frank. Let's see, do we have anything else? Uh, what's the date in, in September that we're going to have the Center for Disability in uh, Elder, Elder? What's that date? What's that date? What's that date? What's that date? Shout out loud. September 26, 1 o'clock here, right? Okay. And here's the sign-up sheet with Dorothy. Please don't leave without signing that if you, if you plan to come, okay? Elsie, you got anything real, real quick? You're, you're cool, okay. And uh, here comes Frank and Sack. Uh, the 15th District Commander was at our last meeting, and uh, I don't know how you got to talk to her, and she, she said something about, do you have any aches or anything? She said, yeah, I got a headache. So, I don't know what happened, but she seemed cured. <laughs> So um, about, about 30 years ago, 28 years ago, I was at a convention, an acupuncture convention in San Francisco, and this little Korean doctor, Dr. Tai Woo Yu, came up and gave a presentation in Korean. I didn't understand it. But what he did next was really shocking. What he showed me was a point that he says was a gift from God for us to be able to heal ourselves. And I studied with this uh, doctor for many years, and I've flown all around the country and uh, taught this system. And I want to, uh, some of you have seen it before. I want to demonstrate it on some of you. Does anybody have pain here today? Yeah. Okay, so it's the people that have pain, particularly, that I want to be able to show. I think we worked this together last time. And did it help you at all? It did. That's okay. So, you know, I can't remember exactly the quote about the mustard seed. Does anybody remember that quote about the mustard seed? If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, huh, that uh, anything is possible. And so I'll be putting these little seeds on tape on parts of your hand. But I want to instruct all of us together today uh, a little bit. This is uh, what I teach my students. So if you repeat after me, you'll be able to get the whole system of how this, what I call manual self-care system, how this manual self-care system works. So if you repeat after me, the front of the hand is the front of the body. The front of the hand is the front of the body. The back of the hand is the back of the body. The back of the hand is the back of the body. The top of the hand is the top of the body. The top of the hand is the top of the body. The bottom of the hand is the bottom of the body. The bottom of the hand is the bottom of the body. And this last piece is very important. The middle of the hand is the middle of the body. The middle of the hand is the middle of the body. So now you've said the pledge for self-reliance. What I'm saying to you is that help is at the end of your arm. And I've, teach, uh, I've taught this to uh, soldiers coming back from uh, Afghanistan, Iraq, and Vietnam. They're in terrible shape, 17 a day, by killing themselves. So I've taught them how to use this on themselves and to teach uh, other people, family members, or other service members. Uh, I use it at the uh, Stroger Hospital. just came from there this morning. Uh, where I'll see 40 patients a day and teach them this system and taking better care of themselves. So uh, I'd like to get someone up here who's got pain and we can demonstrate this. And so where's your pain level today? At what level on a scale of one to 10 is it? Okay, so she's got eight on the left side of her neck. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show her the points on her hand to take care of this. And I put a little mustard seed size uh, uh, pellet. Yeah. And then we'll see uh, how she feels afterwards. And then uh, I'd like to document that, whatever it is. No, that's okay. okay. We're going to let her body speak for her. So we said that the back of the hand was the back of the body, and the middle of the hand was the middle of the body. That's all we need to know. 
So this second finger, the second joint of the middle finger, we're going to use, I call it thick therapy. We're going to take a pen and I'm going to roll and try to find the point on her finger and it'll feel like a speed bump and be kind of, I just found it right there. Do you feel like crunch? So a very crunchy part just by rolling the pen on the back of her middle finger so the secret is to roll, press, and rub. So it was right about there, yes? You saw her jump. So now we're gonna rub it, and I'm gonna take one of these seeds, it'll be like a reminder seed, to help her remember where it is and she can press on this. And there's a little mark there, and right there should be a little sore, tender, yes? I see her. Now, let's go back to your neck and tell me what's your neck pain like? On a level of one to ten? Let's say lack of maybe a five. And what was it? Eight. It was an eight and it's a five. So in a matter of seconds, she you know what a consultant is, right? A consultant is someone who borrows your watch to tell you what time it is and charges you. Here. Okay? So this is your body, this is your energy, and all we're teaching you to do is find out where on your hand there is a pressure point that can relieve pain anywhere on your body. Okay, so who's next? Here. Let me look. Which, which, which are... Acupressure. Acupressure. No needles. No needles. Document her. See if she can. Okay, here's. So where's your pain? You don't mind if I document this? In the knees, both knees. It's going away. Okay. You don't mind if I film this? No. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's watch this and it now. Is going away for you? Where would her knees be on her hand? If this is the middle of the body, these two fingers right next to the middle finger are the arms, and these two fingers are the legs, the little finger and thumb. And so the middle joint is the knee. So I'm going to take my handy ballpoint pen, I'm going to roll to find the point. She's going to probably make a funny face, I'll stand to the side so that she doesn't kick me. Okay, and then I'll put the, the, the uh, seeds on and we'll see what happens. On a scale of 1 to 10, what's your pain? About a 10? It's a 9. Okay, so let's roll her little finger with the pen. She's laughing, but she said it's a painful layer. And that's why I'm standing to the side. And then you can see whatever that thing was up like that, you know that I had hit the spot. I hit oil. Take one of these little tiny seeds on tape, which will stay on for a couple of days. And I just tape it on and I press it. Now she can be doing this a couple times a day herself. Okay? We'll go to the other knee, which is which finger on this hand? Middle finger is the spine. It's got to be the little finger, and it's the middle of the little finger. We roll. Now this is, this is, you can do this. The whole idea is it's you can do this. Your destiny for your solution to chronic pain is in your hands. There. She's making that little bobbing noise sound. I'm standing aside so I don't get kicked. Mm. And then you take this. Now, did it hurt when you walk? It did. They're very sticky. <laughs> no, it's sticky. Like it.
does it feel? How much better? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10. It's a 5. So it cut in half in a couple of minutes. Less than that, because it took me quite a while to get the tape off my little card here. Okay. Let me see.